Hey everyone, JD Dudum. We're back here at Dudum Chiropractic. I'm super excited about this topic. We're discussing what are the best positions for sleep and what type of pillows and where should you be placing them to either avoid pain or to help fix that lower back or neck pain that's bugging in the morning. So a lot of the problem waking up with morning back pain, waking up with chronic neck pain, or you're waking up with headaches, you can't figure it out, you've tried stretching, you've tried other things, what could be the missing link? Well, I'm here today to talk about sleeping position and pillows that may improve your quality of life and those daily aches and pains. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna talk about the best sleeping positions all the way down to the worst. So number one, gold standard of sleeping positions on your back. Now you don't just wanna sleep on your back, if you're having some type of lower back pain discomfort or you're waking up with that stiff, achy lower back, you might just be laying flat on your back. The problem may be, if we're looking at the spine here and you're laying flat on your back, we tend to increase the arch of our lower back. We call that a hyperlordosis. This is the lordotic curve, it's called. And if we go to hyperlordosis, it jams what we call the facets or the joints in the back, and that will cause a radiating or a tightness when you wake up. You feel like you have to stretch and move around. Here's the solution. To avoid that extra hyperlordosis, put a pillow in between your knees. You want your knees not straight. You want them slightly bent 45 degrees, maybe 90. So just try stacking one pillow or two pillows so your knees are slightly bent. You'll see the position here in the video. As well on your back, if you're having some type of neck pain or neck condition, you're waking up with headaches, you're waking up with jaw pain from clenching, really simple solution is to use either no pillow or a really small, minimal pillow. You can almost try rolling up a small towel, about the size, I would say two or three inch radius. Here's the problem. If you sleep with big pillows, they're gonna prop your head forward. That would be like sitting at your desk for seven, eight hours with your head tilted. That's gonna cause a lot of stress in the lower part of the neck and the upper part, which could be contributing to headaches, neck pain, jaw pain. So the two solutions, add one or two pillows under your knees or add a really small pillow or roll up a small hand towel and place it under your neck there. Super easy fix. Number two position, if you're a side sleeper, great. We don't want a minimal pillow that's a few inches. We want a bigger stack pillow so you're not tilting your head when you sleep. A lot of times if you don't use enough support, you're sleeping like this six, seven, eight hours. Big problem, right? That's the solution. Put two pillows, make sure that you're neutral or 90 degrees when you're sleeping. Super easy fix. The second fix is if you're having some type of lower back pain and you're on your side, you wanna put a place a pillow in between your knees. Here's why. If you're on your side like this, and if you're a side sleeper, you know this, you roll your leg forward. One leg becomes rolled over the other, and that will start to create torque in your pelvis and that could create some lower back pain or even sciatica when you wake up. The solution, if you put a pillow in between your knees and you squeeze it together, it prevents you from sliding your pelvis. S again, super easy fix, helps prevent that morning lower back pain because of the rotation of your pelvis. So that's two we've done so far. And last, if you're a stomach sleeper, I always recommend to patients sleep on your back or sleep on your side. But sleeping habits, are they're really hard to change, right? If you've tried it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you're a stomach sleeper, simply put a pillow under your feet. Again, you want to create that angle, and you can see the picture here. You want to create that angle where your knees are bent so you're not creating that, remember that big word, hyperlordosis? So if you put a pillow under your feet, it'll reduce that curve, reduce the stress on the lower back and the discs, and prevent you from waking up with a sore lower back. So 
Those are three positions of sleeping, and I gave you a simple solution for each position. So if you have any questions about that or you're struggling with headaches, morning back pain, or just not sure what the next step might be, no problem. I'm happy to help respond to this video. Shoot me a quick email. Love to talk to you further. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm J.D. Doom with Doom Chiropractic. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.